What's up, Van Clan? And good morning. I'm checking the mail first thing this morning. I forgot which freaking key the mail key is. No, not that one. Not that one. Can you tell I rarely check the mail? Not that one. Not that one. But I'm hoping to find some stuff for Wilder's birthday that I ordered. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at how packed the mailbox is. I can't even get anything out. Okay, it's officially time to start our day. I've already taken the kids to school. I should have started my day then, but I had to take a shower and wake up a little bit more because this morning came way too quickly. Today is really exciting. We have a few things going on. I'm like trying to collect my thoughts on all the things that I have to do today. Number one, on my list, I really need to go get some cupcakes for Wilder's birthday because he'll be at school the day of his birthday. So I wanna make sure that he gets his cupcakes for him and his friends. So that's number one on the list. I'm also gonna check out some more invitations and stuff for his party. I'm really excited for his party because if you guys remember last year, we went to Discovery Cove, we got this huge Airbnb and everybody canceled for his birthday. Like, which ended up to be fine because we had a great family time, but I don't know, it's just upsetting for a kid. And now that he's in school, he has all these friends in his class. And so we invited the whole class and we invited all of his friends at church. So I feel like this time around is gonna be a good turnout. And I'm just excited. And my mom's here, so she's helping me plan it. And she's really happy about that. We're happy that she's able to be a part of these birthdays and holidays with us. It's just, it's really exciting. So that is on our agenda. I have a call, like a meeting at 9.30 which it's 9.33. I'm just waiting for the call. I'm not late, okay? But tonight, I'm so stoked. Me and my mom have something we're whipping up. Aside from the book, we have some last edits that we're doing today. I keep telling myself that every single day because there's changes that I wanna make, but today is gonna be the day, so it should be out next week. And I just cannot freaking wait for you guys to get your hands on it. I'm gonna call my mom back because I was on Instagram live and she tried to call me. Hello. Hey. Hey. I tried calling, I mean, I tried calling you and you were in the shower and then you tried to call me back and I was on live. Yes. Okay. Into Target we go. Cupcakes, decoration, more decoration party stuff. Also, it's 30% off at Target. Look how cute him and his friends can take some pictures with these. Those are so cute. And a six. I can't believe my little baby's turning six. Goodie bags. I'm gonna leave before I buy the whole store. I was coming for cupcakes, but we did need party decorations because his birthday's coming up so soon. If you know me, then you know I love planning birthdays, so I'm living for this. Obviously, if you can't tell, he wanted a Halloween-themed birthday, so we're going in on the Halloween theme birthday. There's so many sales right now at Target. This is not sponsored at all, but I use Ibotta. I think I did have a sponsorship with them last year, actually. But I had $20 in the account from just like, literally all I do is submit my receipts, like that's it. So I had $20 plus Target was doing some kind of promotional stuff. So there was like 30% off of everything. So. We love a good steal. It makes me so happy when I get like good deals on something. That is just such a high for me. I think that's why I like thrifting so much is because like when you find a good steal. It's everything I need in It's written all over your face. Maybe I can be on your head now. Okay, I'm back home. I wanna show you guys what all I got. I'm so excited for this party, y'all. Okay, so I picked up these little ghosts. They like, there's gonna be like a pavilion and I think we're gonna hang these like on the pavilion if you guys get if you get what I'm saying. We're also gonna have a pinata, so I got some like, little goodies to put in a pinata. Pinata. I got a black one of these. I also got a white one. My mom is in charge of all of like the games. Like whenever I was a little girl, she would always do these games for me during birthday parties and stuff. So she's in charge of all the games and she's really excited about that. So we're gonna have what else did I get? I feel like I got other stuff. Oh, I also picked up this bowl. It's a little candy bowl. Look how freaking cute. I love it. Then from Amazon that I got earlier, out of the mailbox was a bunch of different balloons. Balloon arch that I'm gonna hate myself for later, but it's gonna be really cute. I got a number six balloon and some little ghosties. So yeah, that's exciting. I'm about to do some work though, because big surprise. Tonight, me and my mom are doing not just any podcast, but a live trial podcast to see if this is something that we 
both would enjoy doing. Me and my mom talk on a daily basis now. I just think that all the advice that she gives me on a daily basis, like our conversations, the tea that's spilled, the motivation, I feel like our conversations are so beneficial. Like so often I'm like, oh my gosh, like we should be speaking on a podcast right now. So yeah, right now I'm just printing out our like talking points. Yeah, I just think my mom would be a really good co-host. If you guys remember before I was gonna start a podcast and my co-host kind of fell through. And I didn't wanna do it unless I was 100% sure, which is why I want to do this trial run with her and just kind of see where our heads are and make sure that we want to do this 100% because I've been trying this new thing lately where if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it 100%. If it goes good, I'm really excited, although very terrified because I know that there's gonna be some spilt tea. There's a lot of things I feel like a lot of people could benefit from just like our conversations in general. So yeah, that's really exciting that's happening tonight. I'm gonna film it because it's gonna be live so you guys can see it. And I want you guys to tell me your honest thoughts of what you think. What's the vibe? I'm excited to see how this plays out. But first, I need to do this printing. Garrett just went to go pick up the kids. So I have a moment to do this. Hi! Yay! How was school? Okay, I finally just got done. Anywho, I'm gonna go spend some time with the kids before I go and do this podcast. I also have to map out and plan out the launch for the book. So, lots of things in the works, but see you guys during podcast. <laughs> Hello, we are probably, yeah, how long, just one. how long are we into filming this? Probably like 20 minutes into filming and I completely forgot to tune Put you guys in. in. But basically we're just kind of like answering some questions right now. We did our little introduction. Yeah, we don't know what the hell we're doing. So, <laughs> um, advice on getting cheated on. I've been with someone for mm. seven years and he's had a whole other girlfriend for two years secretly. He was my best friend and I feel Stop. so lost. Everyone hates him now and I hate that. My heart Aww. misses just his presence. Baby. Oh man, you just sound like Mama Tot. You give me Mama Tot vibes. Oh. Um, <laughs> first of all, I have a I question for you. How oh, did that happen baby. for two years without you knowing? Like what went on my relationship? Like Carrick and I are with each other all the time. It would be hard to not know. So like, are you guys in a relationship where you're together all the time? I'm just like curious of where the or backstory. Or are you just living a whole separate life? Oh, you poor baby. My heart goes out to you. Yeah, that is that oh, is honey. really, really hard. Someone for seven years and he has a hold of the girlfriend for two years. Also, oh second question, does the girlfriend know? And how did you find out? And I understand oh. the hatred part. Like people, probably your loved ones, hate yeah. him now because he hurt you. hurt you and I get that there's like sides that people can pick and it does suck when you love someone and someone is talking badly about them even if they did hurt you we're, we're together 24 7 and just would see her when he left me oh baby the family hating on him is hurting her heart yeah so that means you know she's got a big heart because I would right, be like because oh. you still have love for him oh yeah. baby you're gonna hurt for a while that's terrible. Yeah, I feel like that is good advice, actually. Like, you are going to hurt for a while. Like, yeah, allow yourself forward. to hurt and heal. And as much as your family and people are being nasty and ugly towards him and, and it hurts you, you'll be able to understand more once your heart kind of breaks away from him. Yeah, and you're not in it. Like, when you're in something, mm -hmm. like, I I've been in things and I just don't see it until you're out of it. The family situation, hating on him and stuff. As much as that hurts your heart, that obviously means like you have a big heart. I think I would just try to understand oh. like they're coming from a place of love to protecting you. Try to find a hobby, anything to keep your mind and your heart occupied into something else. Yeah, I would say <clears throat> I feel like I'm going through a lot of things behind the scenes that like I haven't really talked about much. And I feel like one thing that's helped me is like getting out of my comfort zone a little bit and like I've been baking more and like doing things that like challenge me I guess. Oh she says I'm way too motherly I'm always trying to help and he knows that yeah. That he's taking and advantage of you. Yes he's taking advantage of you, of you and playing on your soft spots like knowing that you're not going to turn your back on him or you're not going to let him go hungry or whatever the case may be. Thanks. I'm so sorry for you. She said, thanks, mom. I've wondered about you and Zoe with your friends after what happened. Did they turn their back on you? You know, one thing that I really haven't talked about that 
this is a great time. That's why I love this because I, like you guys are just my girlies or guys that are, you know, not the whole, my whole audience. So I feel freely more to talk about it. But when the whole thing happened with Garrick and I, like did friends judge you? With, with what, what happened. happened because that's definitely what happened with me sorry oh, i'm not being clear i get wait. what you're saying did your friends judge you for when you were going my your friends i feel like yes. yes but my mom was here and it's hard to explain like before previous you yes. would have yeah i would have been fighting and a complete crazy completely person. different person but i was so grateful to have my mom there because she was almost like a mediator and because of what I've been through, it's very like I'm not gonna judge that other person that yeah. everybody else is mad at because I also love him too. Yeah. But I know what it's like to you gotta try to see both sides and I know that no matter what, Zoe and Garrick are a family unit, even if they weren't together, he would still be the father of our kids. So he's still gonna be in the picture and no matter what, he's been in their life for a long time. So my mom was never. So the old me now, I yeah. would have been mean fighting. and nasty and fighting. She but was very this respectful. Me, yeah, I can understand and needing needing someone there. Yeah, because you got to think like he doesn't have anyone either. So she, my mom was playing, you know, not playing, but like being there for both me and Garrick. So I was very grateful for that. But my friends who have like seen what happened from an outside perspective, I feel like, yeah. So I get where you're coming from. I totally understand, but I don't know where you are in terms of like, if you guys are still together or not, but your decision is ultimately your decision. And I don't think that And hopefully you that you do have someone there to- Talk to you. Talk to and support you mm -hmm. in your decision. If you do decide to continue to be with him, even though he did cheat for two years or however long, because that's a huge break in your trust It could be for him. so easy for us to be like, oh, you know, Kim. But I know how it is being, like, in a relationship and, yeah, like, loving someone. when you love, someone. you love hard. It's mm -hmm. hard to let that go. Yeah, it really is. And so I know I understand how that is. And don't let anybody else's, you know, judgments deter you from ultimately what you want to do. But I say, Kim. Way I easier said so than done. I am sorry, and we're here for you. Oh, you're such a mama tot. Marissa, hi. Oh, I love that girl. She's so sweet. She's so supportive. That's a very unfortunate situation. I cannot imagine. Cheated. For two years. Cheated. I, I cannot. That poor baby though. Her heart's hurting. I know. Will your pod be your mom and you or just you? It would, my mom would be the co-host. I am co-hosting it up. You guys are amazing. I've been telling myself recently today is going to be an amazing day. Just yes, girl. You guys. Yeah, I got that from my mom. Today is going to be an amazing day. Look up, um, what is it, Snoop mom? Snoop Dogg's positive affirmations. You I'm have mom. to make yourself happy and work at it as hard as you can. <laughs> Y'all, what do you think about the Taylor Swift thing? What? With the, the football player, the Chiefs guy. About? Taylor Swift. You're it's all over me, social media. media. <laughs> it's all over media. What is yes. it? What is it? Taylor Swift is dating the Chiefs guy. Is he cute? I don't know. I haven't seen like pictures of him, but I've read about it. Is he cute? Not yes, imagine. Taylor and Travis. Thank you. I can't imagine yes, Taylor with someone. It, it, they're, she's with this football player and everybody that yeah, watches football. Everybody. everybody is all upset about it. Taylor is doing her thing. Let her be. You want to see this guy? Mm-hmm. Travis, Travis Kelsey. Kelsey. Oh, we love Scott. He needs to be our um. <laughs> the uh, information media guy. guy. Yeah. Hold on now. Oh, he's cute. Oh. Oh, and wrinkles. Mom. Stop. I've been squinting my whole entire life, and that is there. Mine is bigger. No, it's not. What are these people saying? Not Look, my type, right? Whose wrinkle is is worse? <laughs> I really don't like the name Taylor. Why? Because it's one of Garrick's ex girlfriend's names. Oh my gracious. Am I the toxic one? Am I the problem? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the problem, it's me. Sometimes we're all the problem. I forgot what I was saying because you just. Sorry, this is not sorry. a good podcast host situation. Self is getting pretty bossy. That I'm bossy. She don't even know what she was saying. As she takes a deep breath, why? I don't answer the first time. Don't call me again. If y'all had another baby, what was the names that you love? Aww. I love the name Moon. Everybody else hates it, but. 
You don't love it. I, I know your face. It. I know your face. You don't love it. Tell me why. So if I need my next kid, I would love that baby you to pieces. You wouldn't love I would the too. Name. I would kiss him up and love him to death. But you don't like the name. Then? So today is going to be an amazing day. That's what you said. Yes, on the way to something that you didn't want to go to when you say those positive affirmations because you know you're going to be an awesome person and make it through the day people judge your name my oldest daughter after having a twilight, twilight well what is her name <gasps> renesme oh my god i love that is it renesme zoe was going to audition for the part of renesme when and dance well, why didn't you do, why didn't you have me do that yeah, girl you were too sassy look at you. you had to follow somebody's direction <laughs> 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 yeah, why don't you just change the subject? You don't like the moon? People, people that's gonna talk nasty, let them talk nasty. Let them, mm -hmm. let them, like let them do that. But don't change who you are. Yeah. And just fight back with more positivity and love. All right. Yes. <laughs> yes, girl. Spill the tea on. Yes, Which one? Girl. Which one? Huh? <laughs> Which one? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, you tell her to spill the tea, she spills the camera. That has nothing to do with me. But remember, what you put out in the universe, you will get back. That's true. So, but I haven't, I explain. have, I have, no. <laughs> hold on. I am going to explain a little. I gotcha. I explain. have. It is not my fault. They are toxic. Okay, it's not my fault. They're toxic for your life. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they're maybe great for somebody, somebody else. else. Just yeah, that's not true. For you, y'all. Zoe just cut my hair. I did. Mm -hmm. Women are crazy. Women are not crazy. I resent that. We have more emotion than men. That's true. And men don't understand that. 100%. So therefore, they no, call you're us right. crazy. You're right. Yes, girl. Don't get me on that. We are not crazy. We are mostly in tune. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna say that next time you get That's why I love you. <laughs> Zoe going off and Mama just coming in and bringing it all back in. Yes, girl. You know Got the, to. the <laughs> way it used to be the opposite. opposite. And you couldn't contain me. I would make sure that I was the biggest no. fool and would make the biggest scene. Thank God Almighty, he delivered me. <laughs> Boy, I was a mess. If only I was filming back then. Oh my gosh, no. Would I would be, be a hated person. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Maybe, I was but not the transformation. Nice the, the transformation, transformation is magical. That's what it is. I discovered you through my brother, Jones. Not sure if you remember him, but we have a similar situation with our mom and addiction for 10 years. She's also sober now. Mom, hmm. I'm going to tell you something. You are going to remember this guy. Okay. Oh, man. His name was Jones. I was obsessed with your brother. Ooh. Literally... Oh, my man. whole elementary middle school face this boy would come over to the house we lived at the reserve mm -hmm. i would sneak out all the time yeah that's just that's crazy i i don't think i've ever met you but your brother uh, and i dated um <laughs> wait who is this has he been to my house yes jones and oh, his brother what is his brother's name what is your bro other brother's name because i feel like i dated both of them <laughs> <gasps> Zoe! Love him. Well, I apologize. I, yep. Yeah, because I, I was probably not nice then. No, it was, no, you weren't bad then. I was still bad, you just <laughs> didn't know it. I had, um, um, I had pill addictions then. Yeah, but that was like, I don't know. You were young though, so yeah, yeah I was, I was more on it. I wasn't like off the handle and like homeless and all that until later. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I didn't even know that they had a sister. Hi, that's really cool. That, hey! Like, I'm so curious. What did they say? Like, you don't I, talk to yourself like that. Okay, true, but like, you know, people from school, like, I wonder how they, like, view me. Like, oh, she's a weird girl with, like, a Why? YouTube you didn't channel. have a great, like, relationship with a lot of people. That's true. Like, so that's why I'm curious. School. Why? Like, they're haters. That's true. But like, I don't know. It's mm -hmm. just like... Don't give that energy. Don't give a negativity any energy. You see? Girl. She gives great advice. What were you saying though? Not sure if you remember him, but we have a similar situation with her mom and addiction for 10 years. She is also sober now. Wow. Oh, congratulations. Awesome. There's only 3% of us. Seriously, it's a terrible thing to go through and wonderful yeah. to get through and be sober and loving life now. 
Yeah, tell your brothers I said hi. <laughs> oh, somebody asked so something sweet. about Wilder Wave on there. When the next drop was or what you're doing with it. I want to know that too. What are you doing with it? I Get am... it together. Big girl sizes. Hella I am... <laughs> big girl sizes. I'm revamping like the website first of all. And I want like a new vibe for it. So I'm just like putting together my vision board before I do another launch which there will be another launch. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for like subscribing here. And I feel like I have a really good group of people. I've literally went through every single person that's on here. And if I was like, no, I literally took them <laughs> off. So I know like who all is subscribed on Instagram and I feel like safe to talk about things I wouldn't normally talk about. I am grateful for everyone's support. I've read all the sweet comments that they put on my whole recovery, mm -hmm. and I'm very grateful for that. Oh, I love you, Mom. I feel oh, like this could be great. Hopefully, in our next post together will be a hard launch of our new podcast. So, stay tuned for that. We're coming in hot. Good job. I don't know. I feel like that went so well, and I'm very excited for what could come out of it. My mom is just like the sweetest person, and I feel like, I don't know, it'd be really fun for us to get together weekly and do that. I don't know. What are your thoughts? And also, if we do do it, leave some name suggestions below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to those that supported in any way. I love you guys so much. If you like this video, please hit a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you have not already. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Just